lovely colouring friends, my name is Amanda and this right here is my channel Amanda Colours. Emerald would like to say hello to you all, hello, and um, she's so glad that you're here with us today because we are going to be sharing the colouring prompts for the hashtags that I host during each month for the month of April. Who can believe April? Oh my goodness. The year is flying by. But first, did you know that the country that consumes the most ice cream in the world is New Zealand? And very, very interestingly, um, the top five or ten countries, I can't remember what, which it is, that consume the most ice cream in the world are actually cold climates. And the reason for that is because in those places, ice cream isn't advertised as a summery treat or anything like that. It is just a treat. And um, so they consume ice cream all year round. Yes, I am here today with the coloring prompts for April. Um, so let's start off with a C palette challenge. I am so thrilled with how many of you love doing this each month. Um, I really enjoy playing around with the different palettes and um, doing something different and maybe that I wouldn't normally do. And I just love that you guys love it too. So for anyone who is new, the AC Palette Challenge is based on cards out of these two boxes. And these are called the Color Cubes and they are created by Sarah Renee Clark. And each box has 250 different little cards with different um, color palettes on them. So I choose one card out of each box at random and then out of those two I choose which one appeals to me and that's what we use for the palette challenge. And the idea is that you use only the colors on the card um, and skin tones are also allowed. Now you can also use metallics, you can use black and white if you choose, but I do really encourage people to try and um, use the dark versions of the colors instead of black and the lightest versions of the colors um, instead of white, just to kind of challenge ourselves. But as I said, um, you can use black and white if you would like to, uh, and you can color absolutely anything you like using any mediums by any illustrator and all of that. So let's get to it. Now, oh, the there are links in my description uh, for purchasing the color cubes. Um, and there are also color companions, which, um, uh, give you like, you can get a color companion for a hoo hoo markers or, uh, Prisma color pencils and what have you. But I do also provide the closest color match as provided by Sarah Renee Clark to four of the most popular mediums, um, over on Instagram. So make sure you go and check that out as well. Um, but you can, if you don't want to invest into the actual color cubes, you can also buy digital versions of the color palettes um, at Sarah Renee's um, website as well. And links for all of that is down in the description. So let's get to it. I am going to choose a palette from the front of this one. So, oh. So we have that one and then, yeah, let's do the front of this one as well. Okay, so two very different palettes. Now, both of these palettes kind of lend themselves a little bit better to autumn, which is great for us in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, but for the Northern Hemisphere, I feel like this one could work for summer as well. So let's go with this one. So we have... Card number 552, and I'll zoom in a bit. And we have these gorgeous colors here. So over on the back, these are the names that Sarah Renee Clark has given them. We have mint, teal, orange, gold, and dark teal. And as you can see over on this side, we have the three versions of the color. So down the center is the same as over here. That is sort of the pure color. And then we have a tint on this side, which is a lighter version of the color and a shade on this side, which is a darker version. Now you can use all three for each color. So you could really be, what's that? Uh, 
16 colors you could be using. Um, and this very dark teal would be great in replacement for um, a black and you could go even lighter on the yellow and bring it all the gold and bring it right down to be a beautiful highlight color. So that is our card for April. And um, yeah, they're not colors I would usually choose. So it's going to be an interesting challenge. But um, yes, so if you want to participate, please post your completed picture to Instagram using the hashtag AC palette challenge. Um, and if you use the function within Instagram that says tag people and actually tag me on your photo um, at amanda.colors with colors spelt with a U, um, I am definitely sure to see your picture that way. Um, and that is, um, sorry. I just lost my train of thought. And that's the best way to make sure that I can see your picture. The other way is to join our Facebook group that Disney Meg's Colouring and I co-host together. And that is also linked down in the description. And that is Colour With Us. Um, and we have a whole bunch of fun prompts that we do exclusively within our group um, each week. And you can post your picture uh, within that group as well. And then at the begin at the end of each no the beginning of the following month I do slideshows of all of the hashtags of everyone's beautiful pictures here on YouTube so you can see what everyone has been up to. So that is AC Palette Challenge. Next up we have Sea of Colors. So this challenge is the AC Sea of Colors, um, and that is where I choose three pages out of Sea of Colors by Angela Gonzalez, and I post them up towards the beginning or the middle of each month onto the community tab here on YouTube, and then you guys get to vote between those three pages which page you would like to color during the following month. The page that you guys have chosen is this one here. So we are doing oops, the lighthouse. Now I have seen a couple of people who um, generally color along with us have already done this page. Um, yeah, that's okay. If you feel like you would like to post your completed page um, within this month anyway, even though you've already done it, you are more than welcome to do that. Um, but yeah, just color this page. Um, however you like and I forgot to mention before that all of my hashtags need to be posted to social media uh, your pages need to be posted to social media before the 27th of each month and that just helps me put together the uh, slideshow so color this page post it to Instagram using AC palette challenge no nope, ACC of colors um, by April 27 and um, or you can also post it into the Facebook group. So that will be a whole lot of fun to color. And I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. And then the very last hashtag that I host each month is a, a um, shared hashtag that I co-host with Disney Makes Coloring. Um, and it is the Frogs and Friends Color Along. And that is where we choose a page out of um, Chris Raniak's, where is it? Chris Raniak's Frogs and Friends Coloring Book. Now, just to make sure that you get the right one, this is volume two. We have just started this one. We've only done one page in it so far. This is available as a digital coloring book over at Chris's website, which is bindlewood.com. And there will be a link for that down in the description. Or he does have a printed Frogs and Friends coloring book on Amazon and it actually has volume one which we have already completed and also all the pages from volume two so if you wanted a printed copy you could purchase that and then find the um, the same pages so the page we are coloring in May sorry April I'm getting ahead of myself is this one and it was my turn to choose this month and I just think uh, this little mosquito or no it's a dragonfly yes it's just so cute with his little aviator hat on and a map and the froggy is trying to help him with directions so again color this post it to Instagram using hashtag frogs and friends color along before the 27th of 
April <laughs> and or in the Facebook group. Um, and then again, if you actually use the tag me function and tag myself and Disney makes coloring, we can both make sure that we see your pages that way. So they are the color alongs that I am hosting in April. I keep going to say May. Um, and yeah, they're going to be a whole lot of fun. I cannot wait to see what you guys do. It is so fun for me to see all of your creative juices going and how differently people use the various colors or um, color the various pages. And I absolutely love hosting these hashtags. Um, I've come to know so many of you through it. And yeah, it just gives me such a great sense of community and friendship. And I love sharing creativity with you all. So that is it from me today. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.